Cinderella want him. Hello, 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 everybody. This is your man, Jay Takashi. I'm here to bring you guys an episode review of uh, Megami. Sorry, I always I, I can't say it. It's going to almost hurt. Megami no Cafe Terrace, episode 11. So it's uh, titled Love Confessions. And in this episode, guys, like I said, we had... it. Was, we didn't have too many things happen, but I'm going to try to shorten it so you guys can... Uh, with the full effect, and we can be on our merry way. Just sit back and enjoy. So in this episode, which is titled, which I titled on my thumbnail, Akane and Riho Confess. Um, this is a confessions episode, and it's more along the lines of both characters re realizing their ma their feelings for the main character, Hayato. And um, each one did it in different ways uh, to, make, uh, to make Hayato really explain to them of where he's at. So for example, um, let's start with uh, best part number one. Time. So, um, <clears throat> um, after so after pretty much um, Yuya's uh, thinking about the beach the beach hut and also uh, how much money they were going to write in for for um, cafe and things of that nature, Akane comes in on him while he's you know doing his work, and um, you know she brings in coffee, which by the way she makes the best coffee. Of course. <clears throat> sorry about that. And um, sorry about that. And she, and trust me, and she is literally um, you know, kind of like <laughs> lay, laying it on, literally like sedu seducing our boy Hayato, clearly. But also lay, letting her intentions, let her, letting it be known that she does in fact. I feelings for him and, and pretty much confess that she actually likes him a lot and that um she really be in a relationship with him and and like i said the way she worded it was very funny because even we as the audience knew she was talking about but but hayato played it off saying like okay if she's she going she's using a particular phrase on the response to her response to her he's and um his response was <clears throat> Well, basically, listen. I still, he says. I, he says right now. I'm just focused on. Sorry, guys. I'm stopping. He said right now. I just want to focus on um, making sure that we're able to build up the cafe for the for the end of the year. You know what I'm saying? Like be able to see if, see if we can run it more often. You know, for the end of the year to see if see if it's able to still uh, be able to get it off its feet. Right now, and because right now they're in the process of doing that, and he doesn't want any. It, it's funny. He doesn't want anything to get in the way of that because if he feels like he'll get distracted, the cafe might go under. AKA his grandmother's, and um, which is a valid point because when you're trying to like run a business, you can't be distracted sometimes, and um, that is very true and insane. So I understand Hayato's reasons for not like uh. For like waiting until the end of this year to uh, to see if the cafe was thick, as far as the money they've accumulated, so it makes a lot of sense for me that he would say that. But also, he says the very same thing to Rio, but we'll get to Rio in a second. All right, so guys, I needed that. Um, 
<clears throat> so with so so when I said I kind of kind of seduced him a little bit more often than not, like she like kind of like <laughs> she was kind of showing her side boob and shit like that of, of that nature, not the whole way where you see your nipples or like that. Like, she was just kind of like trying to like just tease him more often than not, seduce him really. But um, <clears throat> and she's wearing a one piece like like sleeping dress. So I was like, God damn, it's nice. Kind of, I love kind of. God damn it, girl. That girl can seduce me any day of the week. But let's just keep it real. But um, but, but yeah, um, but yeah. But so she walks off into my she feels and uh, she loves she loves Hayato, <laughs> Hayato and Red. So yeah. But also um, so so um, let's get to Riho's part. So basically, pretty much after that night, um, re uh, how about that. I had told the girls literally go to a public bath because you know of uh because you know they feel the need to go to one, and also Rio's glamour you know been blabbering to his face about getting a new new toilet and things of that nature because it's old, things of that nature. And he says like, well, it is, but we'll, we'll get it when I can. Pretty much, he said we'll get it when we have the budget. Paper. Simple enough. It still works. It's fine. Which toilets are important, guys. I just keep it a buck. They are. There's even I know But um, all that being said. So they go to a public bath, which is probably one of the best, etchiest parts of this episode. I'm like, God, I have never seen so many girls look so good in the bath. I ain't gonna lie. Sauce is real on that voice. But, um, but, uh, we have, we literally have a kind of literally, um, tell, uh, tell, uh, Riho, you know, tell Riho that she had confessed to, that she had confessed to Hayato. And, um, and she knows that she, and she knows that her, the Rio has felt for him too particularly. She may not show it a lot, but she definitely does. But when we, and if we as the audience who have been watching the series, we know that to be the truth. She does like Hyatt a lot. Um, she plays it off a little bit, but we know she does. And um, and what it kind of said kind of sticks to her. It kind of sticks in her head for a while at the uh, at the um, <clears throat> sorry, the public bathhouse for a while, and and also while they leave. So. You want to get right. So, so when so when they're leaving, um, Hayato walks walks with Riho to go get some uh, quote unquote uh, snacks and drinks, pretty much from the uh, vending machines. And like I said, Hayato like I said, Hayato goes with her, and um, they're having they're having nonchalant talks, and it's really weighing on Riho's mind that that I kind of did confess uh, to to uh, Hay- uh, to Hayato. She says, and and then she says like you know. You know, I'll, you know, I want them all to myself, things of that nature. And, you know, like I said, we really had a hard time really confronting the fact that um, that she does have feelings for Hayato. And that she was wrestling with this decision so much to the point where it just kept eating away in her brain. So, but, so eventually she comes, so, so she eventually comes to a confirmation to his face and really tells him that, um, you know, if I said I liked you a lot, and I liked you figure on me, and he said, "Um, I wouldn't be mad or I wouldn't dislike you if you did." That's what Hayato's reaction was. But you know, we'll wait to see how the cafe does and things of that nature. He says the same thing he says to Akane, and um, Riho is in good spirits. She walks, she walks, she walks away with a smile after after knowing that um, that she was just happy hearing him saying that he wouldn't mind or he would hate it. He wouldn't hate it, and. Um, and that that kept her in good spirits, and then literally the next day after, you know, literally after, literally the next day after, <laughs> those two, uh, Akane and uh, Riho, have a, have a little talk, pretty much um, admitting that they both, I don't know, talk, pretty much a declaration of war, saying that they both know that, like, you know, the other have feelings for him whatsoever, and things of that nature, and um, to the point where Hayato had to leave to get some paper filters for the coffees and things of that nature, coffee machine. And um, <laughs> Hayato was really bummed out, like he said, this is what it means to be like, uh, I forget what it said, a ladies and man or something like that, the term he used. And um, it was like I said, it was just really funny. Um, but, but yeah, um, yeah, uh, yeah, kind of was getting frisky in this episode, trying to teach, like I said, with uh. With that one piece, uh, with, with, with her one sleek freaking uh, dress pajamas she had on, hell yeah. Um, and freaking, uh, she was trying to get frisky with them in the middle in the middle of um, their working shift, where like you know she was pressing her chest against his back, 
pretty much try to teach him coffee. She didn't try to make coffee, which is the excuse she's using. Now, she is teaching him, but it's still it's an excuse to get close to him. And then Rio gets up, Rio gets upset, and they're just like, yo, what do you think you're doing in front of me and all this blah, 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 blah? You know how girls get. Girls get jealous, though. She's deliberately doing it on purpose. But she, but she personally did that to get to, to make Rio admit her true feelings and things of that nature. And um, they pretty much declare that they're going to, that trust me, that they're going to be trying to uh, go for you as hard. I, I say you, yeah, I'm sorry. For Hayato's heart. Things of that nature and compete. But um, the episode ends there, guys. And um, Ami comes in and says, you guys shouldn't fight, you guys should be friends. But she doesn't know the whole context. She just needs to fight it. And they, and they apologize to one another in that front. But other than that, guys, that was the... Um, well, so the episode was really good. It was etchy. It was comedy. It had a lot of revelations revealed. It had a lot of revealed. But the confessions of the main two girls, I actually care about this character for putting so much at an, an adequate amount of time with them. And uh, like I said, it, 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 it's, it's progressed really well. I can't wait to see what happens in episode 12. So with that being said, guys, if you're new to the if you're new to the channel, be sure to like and subscribe as always. And also, if you like this if you like this type of content, um, please share this video amongst your friends. It helps the algorithm, and also we're trying to get subscribers to this channel. Like I said, it'll, it'll help me and push me to be even better always. With that being said, y'all, drink some water, drink some green tea, and. Be sure to exercise. I gotta do some exercise when I get done now with this. Peace out. Yes, me.